I'm James with SuperBrightLEDs.com. Today we're going to talk about how to wire an LED strip to a controller. An LED strip controller is an integral part of residential and commercial color changing LED lighting systems. Depending on the type of strip and controller, the user can adjust brightness, color, color temperatures, set timers, zones, and set modes, as well as switch the strip off and on and program custom colors. Some controllers have advanced time and smart control programming. There are various types of LED strip controllers, RGB, RGB plus W, RGB plus CCT, and single color. The LED strip will get connected directly to a controller along with a power supply. A remote or an app will then communicate with the controller to control the strip. First, you need to decide what type of strip you want. Then select a controller and a power supply to go with it. Here we have an RGB LED strip with an RGB controller and remote. We also have a 24 volt DC power supply to connect to the controller. Printed on the RGB strip are the letters that correlate to the color of the LED. R for red, G for green, B for blue. They will need to be connected to the RGB terminals on the controller. And the V positive on the strip goes to the V positive on the controller. On the back side of the controller, you will unscrew each of the terminals, giving room for each wire to be placed. Place the wires in the appropriate terminals. Be sure to screw the terminals down on the bare wire and not on the wire insulation. Next, we will connect the power supply to the controller, which will power the strip. Press the zone on button once within three seconds of the LED strip being turned on to pair the controller. The LED product will flash twice slowly. You can now control the strip with the remote. For an advanced setup, we have an RGB plus CCT strip with a Bluetooth controller and a 24 volt DC power supply. This will connect the same way as the RGB strip. It just has two extra wires for the CCT. Next, you will plug in the power supply to the controller. You will then use the native app to control the RGB strip. When you see the RGB plus CCT strip blink, that means the app has connected to your device. From there, you'll have full control over the RGB plus CCT spectrum. And there are various modes of lighting built into the app as well. Next, we're going to discuss what some common issues are that people have with LED strips and controllers. You must match the power supply voltage to the voltage of the strip, either 12 or 24 volts. The product specifications are printed on the strip. Most times it is easy to wire a strip to a controller, but there are some critically missed steps in the process. Installers sometimes only rely on wire insulation colors for proper wiring. You should always look at the printing on the strip and follow that wire to the controller. Do the same for the following colors and the V positive on the strip. This is how you physically connect the strips to the controller. Most of our controllers have screw terminals, which can be tightened with a small standard screwdriver. In some cases, you may need to strip off extra insulation from the wire to get a good connection. I'm James with SuperBrightLEDs.com. Thanks for watching.